Okay, folks, enough, enough of all that stuff, and welcome to the man cave. So that clip was from a video that Nippy Normans asked me to do. Check it out up here or down below. And that was a full installation for the Denali Soundbomb split kit onto my GS to help Nippy Normans customers out, and they actually supplied that kit to me free of charge. So that installation assumed that you didn't have a Denali Smart Can or Hex Easy Can accessory manager to power the compressor. Or if you did, you did not have any spare circuits. So I've now removed all the wiring that I previously installed on that video. And I've now installed a new wiring harness to power the compressor from my Hex Easy Can as I do have a spare circuit. So the previous video still shows you how to fit the horn compressor and how to route the air hose. That's all still valid, so go and check it out. So what we're going to do now is just show you how to install the new wiring to power the compressor from the Hex Easy Cans. So I have a new harness going from the compressor to, in my case, the spare white circuit on my Hex Easy Can. So I had to adapt the harness as I had a two pin female connector on the end, which can only be used on the Gen 1 Hex Easy Cans, which use these two pin connectors. So I spoke to Denali and Hex Tech Support and they said it was fine to use the cable which I'd purchased from Nippy Normans and all I had to do then was cut the two pin connector off the end and then add stroke solder a new three pin connector to use with my generation two hex easy can so that's what i did and here's how we did it simple really i think Sorry folks, my soldering ability, I've never done it before, so I did give it a go anyway. So where are we at now? So basically we have removed the Denali wiring loom from the bike. So in effect, the bike is back to standard spec as if it just rolled out of the factory from Berlin. But the only difference is when I reconnected the horn, I didn't reconnect the OEM horn because I've already taken that off the bike and I had replaced that with my Denali mini sound bomb. So that's been re-plugged back into the horn circuit of the bike. So that's the only difference. So that wiring loom uh, can be done away with and basically you'd only use that if you didn't have a Hex Easy Can or the Denali Smart Can system with a spare circuit. So if you didn't have a spare circuit or you didn't have that at all, then that's how you would power the 30 amp compressor via pressing the horn button. Then that would get the power from the battery via relay to the compressor. In a nutshell so that's been done away with and after my lovely soldering we're now presented with a new cable which we can simply connect from the hex easy can and then that's that end the three three pin connector to the hex easy can and then that end once we've rooted it 
through the bike. It just plugs in on the underside of the Denali compressor to the plus and the minus, and then that's it. There's no other wiring to mess about with. So basically it's, we're just doing that. That's it, as simple as that. And as we mentioned before, um, the air hose and the horn and the compressor, well, just go and have a look at the previous video and that will tell you how to um, fit those to the bike. So yeah, so this bit is literally a 10 minute job basically after you soldered it, a 10 minute job. And then we'll plug it in to the uh, laptop and then just program the horn with a delay, etc. But we'll talk that, about that in a minute. And then that's the job done. And then finally we'll test it out. How does that sound? So we're gonna feed these connectors under here and then pull the wire out through here and then feed it down to the compressor. So what we're gonna do is two zip ties connected to make our fishing tool and then just tape these together and then pull it through. Bam, 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 bam. And the tape just gives the connectors a little bit of protection as we feed it through. So a bit of a game now. So what we're gonna do is just try and feed it down here, waggle it about a bit until it comes out. So there is space under here. That's through first time. So there we go. And then just pull it through carefully. If you come up against an obstruction, just wiggle it backwards and forwards and then there we go, so that's out. So it's as simple as that. Okay folks, so this is the final routing. So the zip ties are new zip ties that I've put on there. So wherever the zip tie is, that's where the cable has gone. So here's the cable, it's got 105 degree centigrade uh, outer protection on it. So if you're worried about it going anywhere warm, there is protection on that cable. And then there we go, I've just fed those flag connectors down here and then this is one of my Denali lights but the cable is under there I just put that cable back and then it comes down here around the back here and then I've just zip tied it behind the frame and the air hose and then we go down here and then we've got one two connectors which I'll do up once I finish recording and then it's a very nice installation under here so what we're going to do is plug this into the white socket of the hex easy can and then we'll get the laptop and then we'll program it and then that is job done so make sure that clicks in and now we're just going to go and get the laptop so the hex easy can is all connected plugged into the white circuit we've taken the little waterproof cap off the top of the hex easy can plug the hex easy can cable into the laptop so we're just going to open up the easy can accessory manager and then we've got a amber triangle up here that's basically because i think the bike's not switched on so the white circuit that's what we're going to use so at the moment it's been selected for whatever that is so let's go in there and let's call it a horn as simple as that so we'll apply that very simple and then you'll see it just changed down here so it's called the horn and the horn is enabled and that's the oem horn folks not the compressor horn it's the oem horn in my case it's the Denali horn, the mini sound bomb. So we can actually set a delay. So if Granny's walking across the road, rather than give her a heart attack with the full beans, that is the Denali truck horn, then we can just give her a little bit of a honk, honk, honk uh, with the OEM horn, or in my case, the Denali mini sound bomb. So it won't scare her out of her skin. So let's set that to a time delay of, what's the minimum? 0.25 of a second so let's try that so I think that is everything done so let's just try it out and see if it works and the only thing we need to know is that uh, we need to set the amperage there so we're going to go for 25 amps that's what Denali recommend uh, 25 amps for that circuit so that's a horn circuit 0.25 second delay and the horn is enabled so we can sound the honk honk horn as well so let's turn the ignition on and see if it works. So everything's connected then, moment of truth. Let's turn the power on. So the amber uh, warning triangle has now gone to green because the power is going through the bike. And so let's try the horn, just a quick, quick tap on the horn button. So that should just be the Denali MIDI sound bomb. Or if you haven't got that on your bike, it'll be your OEM horn. <laughs> yeah, so that's fine. And then if I hold it down for any longer, it's in the garage, I've got two German Shepherds there. Sorry guys. Yeah, so we've got the delay and then. Yeah, okay, so that works. So I'm more than happy with that. So let's close all this down, put everything back and then that's it. So that's now everything put back on the bike. We've put the weather seal plug 
on the top of the hexeser cam we've got a green light flashing which which means everything is good and all the cables have been tucked away nicely and down here yeah everything looks good just cut all those zip ties and yeah quite a nice neat finish actually and if you're worried about the electrical harness going behind here it's zip tied to the frame as we said earlier on and there's no touching of that wire against anything hot i.e the engine so shouldn't be a problem so that's it folks we've come to the end of the installation video all that's left for me to do is just order some dielectric grease i think they also call it silicone grease and uh, just because the compressor is sat on the outside to the elements just to maybe avoid any corrosion of the contacts on the compressor i'm just going to get some of that dielectric grease and just put a little bit of that on the terminals and that is the job basically done. And the other thing then, if you have thrown your hex easy can box out containing some of your female three pin connectors, then I believe hex easy, easy can do a connector kit that you can make up uh, for yourself, depending on what your requirements are, or Denali actually do them actually. And I ordered that one from uh, Nippy Normans, but I actually managed to find my hex easy can box before that arrived and I use the connector that we've put on the bike so that is in fact a spare one so if I've got anything wrong folks put them in the comment section down below hope you enjoy the video as ever ride safe and we'll see you again soon in the next video cheerio for now ride safe bye daddy do a good job yeah well done